Oh, welcome back, YouTube. Today I'm answering a fairly, you know, good question. How much should I invest each month? Whatever you're doing, whatever, how much should you invest? Um, excuse me. And that's a, I think sometimes the internet world and YouTube portrays the wrong image because you see people make all this money investing, but, you know, it, for somebody on a smaller scale who got three grand to put down him on the house or put three, two, three grand on the stock market, how much do I invest? How much do I get started? And the first thing you must realize is you got to invest whatever spare you have. You know what I'm saying? When you get your paycheck, you pay your bills, whatever, you pay your bills, and you pull them, possibly pull them money in the bank. If you can spare yourself 50 to to $100 to invest, like this money to invest, I would do that. And the question is, what kind of invest in? Well, as you see here, I'm on Robinhood, and one good place you put that money in is at Robinhood. Now, you can do a lot of crowdfunding with Fundrise. I mean, yeah, Fundrise, but yeah, I have $500 to invest, which that a bad rate return, too. I'm thinking about doing something like that in the future. Let's park that money in there, let it grow. But, um,. How much to invest? It depends on how much money you have. If you don't got it, you don't got it. You know, and I and the thing with stocks, it like you can buy stuff like five dollars, ten, twenty dollars. I mean, it, look at my stocks here. My I have a tier. I have three tiers, and I got thirty stocks that I want to invest in. But you see, six dollars, six dollars fifty-five cent. Excuse me. I mean, fifteen dollars, eleven dollars. Um, 17 bucks. I mean, one of my favorite eight ETFs, I mean, my favorite stocks now is um, right here. I'm gonna show you to you. It's four dollars, it's down right now. It's four dollars and eight cents. So, this company is a mass fund invested in Main Street APL that collects product stores, transportation, energy products. I think they do with um, gas and heating and gas energy company. Um, as you see here, um, the ETF, it's, this is an ETF, by the way. So that different types of stocks inside of it. Now, this thing is $4, and right now, after five years, it's down. It, it's, it's, it's down, and it's going down. But that's the time to buy because it's an ETF. This is, this is, this is time to buy this stock for four dollars eight cent. You can buy a few of these. Now I'm gonna show you the dividends I've been getting. I got two dividend payments this month. I got a dividend payment July 9th and a dividend payment July 29th today of six cents. I gotta pay them eight cents. This day I bought for four dollars and thirty cent. My one share of this. Now that's not a lot of money, but you want to invest some money and this is a good rate of return. So. My stocks don't cost a lot of money, but I look at what's inside of it. So let's look at what's inside of this stock here really quickly. Um, I was looking at bowling stuff earlier. So look, let's look at what this stock holding. Holdings. This is an ETF. So let's look at this. What's, what's inside this ETF? ETF is an exchange traded fund. It has a lot of stocks into one, pretty much. So right now it's four dollars eight cents. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to find that. Uh, there's a website that shows you. So. The top ten, top ten sector is oil and gas, oil and gas. Now it had a lot of energy companies as well. So the top ten holdings is Energy Transfer LP, MX, MPX, PMLX, Neutral Star, um, Enterprise Products. It has BP. It has Noble Mainstream. We review all the and right now these are all the holdings in this one ETF. And you have a lot of energy companies inside this one ETF. You have uh, Genesis, you have Shell, Mainstream Partners. You have a lot of, you have um, 
uh, there's a lot of energy companies into this in, into this holding. So this thing was only five bucks. This thing's only five bucks and four dollars eight cents. And you go you invest in an ETF that pay and it's paid. I think it pays twice a month. I'm not even sure, but it's only four dollars. I mean, you could imagine how much money you could you could buy. I mean, four. I mean, ten shares what forty dollars? Forty dollars for, for ten shares of this business. Anytime you get paid, you drop thirty dollars towards it. I mean, that twenty thirty dollars not gonna break you. You know what I'm saying? And you want to invest some money, and the cool thing about this with stocks is you can invest a little bit here and put that money towards something else. You know what I'm saying? So that's one holding that I like very much. And right now it's down. Right now I might end up buying some because it's it's down. Um, my shares don't cost a lot of money. Fifteen dollars here, thirty dollars here. One of my favorite is A and G N C. I was in their stock holders meeting today over the phone. Pretty nice. Apple Realty. Now <clears throat> five years. It's gone down some. Okay, I think Air I think Airbnb hit it some because they own a lot of hotels. They um they invest in income producing real estate, um, largest sector. It owns hotel in a high, an urban, high-end suburban, um, which they operate under Marriott, Hilton, and Hyatt brands. So I'm pretty sure Marriott and Hilton, they're not going anywhere. People are still going to hotels. So that business is not going nowhere. This thing paid 10 cents a share. I spent $112. I'm getting a dollar back every month. Now, it's not a lot of money, but over time, that should go up some, okay? So, yeah, how much to invest? You can invest thirty dollars. You can invest ten dollars. You can invest twenty, thirty dollars in the stock market world if you choose to. Um, whatever you got left, you should invest it. You should always invest it. Uh, that's some. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you want to save some money for, money for a rainy day. Put money in four hundred one k. You want to put your money in different types of buckets. You put all your money in one bucket. You put all your money into stocks, which should be some stocks. So I, I pay my bills. I put a little bit into uh worthy bonds on worthy bonds app you can buy a ten dollar bonds so i buy i buy bonds as well i put a little money in Riderhood. i put a little money on my blog hiring writers i buy traffic on my youtube channels my money is in different buckets the buckets are built to make me money so you gotta invest somewhere and i think growing up we weren't taught investing but put your money somewhere because um you can't just keep money in the bank. You know, you can't keep money in the bank all the time. It's not going to always pay you a high dividend. And the, the bricks and mortar banks is paying a 0.1 or 2%. percent you are not making no money. Online banks, the Fed hitting that so hard, it's ridiculous. It was a 2.2%, 2.3%, now at 1.7%, 1.6%. At times, shooting the video. So it might go up and go down, but I regress. You know, um, that's what I would do. I would invest your money. Small and small things. Whatever you want to, whatever you want to interest in, you should invest in. If you want to start a business, why don't you start one? If you want to start a T-shirt line, see how much anything cost, work your way up, and make that money. That's how much you invest. Right now, I'm investing a hundred dollars. Eight hundred get paid. I got ninety-five dollars in buying power, which I'm thinking about buying some of those um, uh, amazing. Uh, a stock because they're four dollars right now, a, a clip, and it's all time low. But I wait till tomorrow to buy some, and then you know I have I can buy a whole bunch of those. So I, I could buy you know ten stocks for forty dollars. I mean that's a lot of stocks. That might be my main stock I go to because only four dollars. So I ended my video. How much should you invest each month? Whatever you can spare. After paying bills and saving some money for emergencies, what do you want to invest in? How much money you want to invest? How much it costs? And how much do you want to invest? It's the main question of all this. You invest twenty. Look, throw twenty dollars on here. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars to buy you four, eight, twelve, four of those stocks. Twenty bucks. Twenty dollars. 
and then how much how many times you lost twenty dollars? How many times you bought something stupid for twenty bucks? How many times you bought a video game that sucked and you try to take it back and you had the price? You know what I'm saying? How many times you bought something that sold it? How many times you bought something and you built the raw thing you can't take it back? How many times have you done that? How many times you bought something stupid? So I'm telling you one quick story, I'm gonna get off. One night I was, I was really hungry. I bought one night and I was really, really hungry. This is this, this is why I really bought more stocks. So I, I go to a, a chicken wing place, get chicken wings. Cause I'm doing keto. You know, so I do this dry rub wings because there's no carbs in it. So this place was going downhill. You know what I'm saying? I knew it, but I didn't want to recognize it. Cause back then it was really good. Now not so much. So I decided to get a place a try. And I don't want to say what the company was. Um I'm telling you what it was. It was America's Best Wings. Okay, so I, I usually call them, get my wings. I get 20 wings, eat some now, eat some tomorrow. It was 18 bucks. Well, recently, those wings, they started cooking it harder and harder and harder, which, we well, yeah, a burnt wing, like it cooked too much. Like, you can't bite into it. Like, the, the skin is too dry, and you, it's not good. So I told them, hey, one night, I said, hey, don't fry the wings too hard. Don't fry them hard, please. So I got the wings. It was late. It, it might fuck up late at night, but it was gross. It was. I'm like, I ate like maybe eight or nine wings. I don't want that through the way. It was so gross. It was nasty, man. And I told my wife, I said, you know what? I could have made me uh, uh, some some eggs and bacon and had it with that. Save me eighteen dollars. Took the same $18, the same money that I wasted on them nasty ass wings and bought some stocks. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> you know, I'm doing it for my own. So I buy my own wings from uh, Sam's Club. They're like hot wings. You do an oven or air fryer. They're $17, but you get a big at five pound bag. I, I eat that four to five times. So now I'm saving my money. I'm buying something else for seven the same price. I eat more times with it. Plus the eighteen dollars. If I would, you know what? I'm gonna get bacon eggs tonight and call them tonight. Whatever, bake a sandwich. Whatever. I could have done that. Say eighteen dollars, and you know, I could have bought me a stock. I could have bought me four of those stocks. Four, eight, twelve. Eight. I could have bought four of them stocks. And been happy and got a dividend every month and, and been happy, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't do that. So you do the same thing. You buy crazy stuff all the time. You go out to dinner all the time. You want to cut back. Try to buy a little bit of stocks. You want to join Robinhood? My link is below the video. I believe you get a free stock using my link. And I get a stock as well for making a video. So how much to invest? Whatever you got. Do a little bit at a time. Invest $34. See how it goes. Oh, I'm getting dividends every month or every quarter. Oh, this is pretty nice. It's not much, but I could have bought that crazy stuff back then and I bought this instead. So, buying assets, not liabilities. Thanks for watching.